those are like my heroes, James, and then the Abbott brothers. Yeah, it was very, very brief with with James, and it that was also kind of a surreal moment because like I've been listening to Metallica since I was driving, and that was the first that's the first CD I ever put in my blah punk CD player in my '84 Chevy Blazer that was orange and black. It was like a Halloween edition. It was the black album, and I oh dude, I listened to that album forever and uh it was cool to meet him but it man that day was such a blur and uh if i'm being honest i i you know i was partying back then you know what i mean and yeah. i was on cloud nine Dude, i don't blame you bro you know so uh so, but, it was brief but i do have the old school photos hey <laughs> i'd love to see awesome. those one day yeah yeah i'll show you I'll, for sure I'll show you. and then ozzy he was just you got to interview ozzy so i did interview ozzy this is a little <laughs> This isn't a cool part of the story. Uh, this kind of sucks, actually. This is what I heard. So when I interviewed Ozzy, you know, you've seen the, the clips of Ozzy stuttering, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, at the time, 2008 again, um, I had a chance to interview him, and I inter- and I interviewed Sharon, too. Sharon was there as Sharon. well, and she loved me. She was so nice, and just she, she, she made me feel really like— at ease, and I'm nervous as shit to talk to Ozzy. No right doubt, like, bro. Like uh, I, 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 there's, I don't know how I ended up getting to do that interview, but I clearly should not have done that interview. That should have <laughs> ha- somebody else way more talented than me should have been doing that nah, interview. Dude. And uh, so I, I talked to him. I have no idea what the fuck I asked him. I can't. I couldn't tell you now. Um, but he started stuttering in the interview a lot, right? Like he started speaking to where you couldn't really understand his answers, mumbling and going on. But it was, like I said, mumbles. Turns out, I found out later that he does that when he's like pissed at people. Oh, no. and so he, he he doesn't always do that. Like he can be on, right? But when he's not really into the interview, he kind of fucking does the Aussie thing. You know, and he did that to me. And oh. when I when I heard that, it crushed me. You know, I was like, fuck. He could have just been having a bad day, though. Maybe. Maybe. Sharon was really nice to me. And I met Kelly, too. Dude, there's no oh, way. There's no Kelly. way it was you. It, he's, it was a bummer. But that picture's I, fucking rad. I bet so. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, that's all you can ask for, dude. But, yeah, it wasn't you. I mean, just think about the millions of motherfuckers yeah, that want to yeah, talk to him. Yeah. And it's like. And you got to talk to him. like. Yeah, dude. Because. I did get to talk to him, and I'd love to hear that back. But but I just feel like all these years I haven't listened to him because I'm like, he fucking Salty hated me. About it? He, well, not I just oh. bummed, you know. Like I didn't live up to his ex. Like I'm there with a fucking legend, you know what I mean? Like fucking Ozzy, you know. I, I mean, you're, that's one. But to your point, I mean, you're not, you know. I mean, he is like I don't know who's what. Like know, no, what who's gonna say? who's gonna hang with Ozzy it's like yeah what do you do in that situation yeah you know, I, I probably would have it's easy it. to clam up uh, to clam up you know especially uh, yeah. Ozzy that's like but I should have been on it but you know that was a young point I, I was still like a young buck in my career and everything like that and I like, like I said I thought I was the shit and fucking partying and uh, who knows you, what the fuck I said to him so <laughs> At least Sharon was nice. And Probably, you got to meet Kelly. Like, I really like Kelly. She's cool. Yeah, Sharon's always been nice. I think that's what, that's half the reason Sharon <laughs> yeah, probably like started following Ozzy around, just because. Needs I'll, an interpreter? Yeah, because if it was just him alone, everybody might think he's an asshole. Or, that's why I follow you around. I didn't think he was an <laughs> asshole at the time. In the time of the interview, I thought the interview was fucking awesome. I thought we were vibing. Oh, but he was just doing the stuff. I had no thing. idea. Didn't I didn't know until afterwards that that was, like, a thing, you know? Um, I oh, thought I had gotten some classic Aussie shit. You oh, he's know? doing the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, like, that's like uh, when, he, when he wasn't into it. So, you know, whatever. It, it what a good what tactic, it. though. Like, I, I kind of respect it. Have you seen the, <laughs> right? I'm sure you've seen the interview clip he did where he's, like, high as hell. And the lady's like, hello, Ozzy. And he's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's all the time. And then the interviewer's like, Ozzy. And he's just, like, looking around. And he's like, she's like, Ozzy. He looks at her and she's like, hello. <laughs> he's just like tripping super hard. It's probably after he snorted some ants or something. No. No shit. What a <laughs> wild guy, man. Yeah. Dude, what those a, dudes. What a wild life. All those three dudes we just talked about. Yeah, I wish I could have met any one of those, like any one of those like hard rock guys 
or hair metal band guys, like in their prime. Dude, you know? the Avid Brothers. Can you imagine partying? No, I never met Dime. I never met like I never got to shake Dime's hand. I never talked to Dime. He he's the goat. He's the goat. But uh, I mean, can yeah, you may go to a dude's house. He's got a Crown Royal shape pool. That's painted the the lining is purple. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pretty legendary, dude. Their home videos were what, like they were so far ahead of the curve, right? Like back then, uh, w- releasing those home videos, and I fucking got every one of them, man. And uh, dude, it, great point. You know, no one was doing shit like that. No one was doing. I mean, they were doing like fucking hardcore jackass jackass-esque type stuff but way more over the top like x-rated crazy shit that no one was doing back then and you know they literally were putting out on vhs i remember this prank that they did where they like uh i think they were like trying to like make a copy of their ball sack their dick and balls right so they yeah. jumped up on a copy machine but the fucking glass broke oh, and no. whoever was sitting on it, i don't know if it was it might have been dime uh had chunks of glass like in his ass oh cheeks and then God. like that's a great bit right there you think it would be over but no then they attempt to do surgery and remove all the pieces of glass as they're all like fucked up doing shots and shit like just just well, what a what an era if man. they would have had youtube they'd have can you imagine the views a billion oh, wow. subscribers dude. those videos probably- i hope you enjoyed that video guys If you want to check out more podcast videos, studio footage, live footage, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed to YouTube Earl Shreds, YouTube Shred Shred Clips, and YouTube Shred Shed Podcast for full podcast video episodes. Be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever you got. Love you guys so much. Please hit the subscribe button. Ah! <laughs>